Alrighty guys, welcome to another video at Old Crow's Classic Cars Shop and Sale. Alright, you guys can stop looking at my my girls there. It was really hard to get my girlfriend to pose for that picture, you know. <laughs> Alright guys, I'd just like to make a quick little video on uh, why I fucking hate uh, pins and by pins I'm referring to a uh, what's more specifically technically called uh, cotter pins and they're basically um, you have a hole on a piece of metal and a little pin just a straight uh, piece of pin goes in there and it either has a head or it's bent at both ends so that it doesn't come out it prevents uh, washers or uh, uh, bolts from uh, sorry nuts from uh, um, loosening up and falling off but uh, why they're so shit is because uh, here we have a little example off of my uh, Rambler uh, and I'll show you there you see there's a washer there and uh, well there used to be a hole right through there you can sort of still see it I guess zoom in you fucker fucking shit Well, right there, my middle finger is, there used to be a pin straight through there. You can see I've welded the washer on it, and it still f spins freely. See? Relatively freely, it doesn't have, it has to be nice and tight. This is for the, uh, oh, let me see, it's fins, it was just a bit of dirt there. But this goes on the uh, transmission. And there's a piece of metal, and this changes the gears, right? So this goes on to the transmission like that. Now what happens is, pure and simply why fucking pins are shit, it's because they, uh, first of all, they rust. Most of them are made of uh, just steel. And they uh, rust and wear out. And then as I was driving, all of a sudden, my gears just, just disappeared. I was trying to change gears. It's a three on the column there. I'll show you. Right there, there's the pins where it attaches, there's the uh, metal bars where it attaches to down there. And there's the transmission down here, I'll show you. Right there, you see there's the other one there. Right at the end there. But anyways, what happened was, as I said, the pin just uh, rusted away. This came out, and then I wasn't able to change the gears anymore. So just, just, just another example of how a tiny pin can cause a huge problem. And then you know you're stranded in the road, and you have to pay the fucking tow truck to come and get you, and uh, miss uh, an appointment or whatever. Fortunately, this happened just as I was getting back home. And so I was able to fix it. But, uh, so, you know, now it's welded. and now it will never come out of there. There's no reason for this to come out. And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just grind it off. If you really, wa really wanted to allow this to come off for whatever reason, dumb reason, there's no reason, but you could just weld uh, a bolt there. But anyways, uh... And uh, I had a copper pin, because then you can you can think to yourself, you can tell yourself, well, I'll uh, I'll get a uh, I'll get a normal, I'll get a stainless steel or a copper pin, and you know with the uh, all the gear changes and such uh, and such, it eventually wears out, and that's what happened here, and it'll fall off. So just you know, fuck you, pins. Do this here, and by the way. Uh, you can perfectly make good, great welds with copper to steel. Welds fine, and I don't say it even welds better because you got a bit of a copper mixed in there. I don't know if that creates some sort of uh, 
interesting metal compound maybe like stainless steel but anyways that's why pins are shit guys alright thanks for watching